Okay, real quick video here. We got Mischief talking about games he's never played. And this is the crux of everything here now. Because I'm sick of the bullshit, man. So I don't care if your opinion is that one game is better than another. Even though it's retarded to say Halo Infinite is the third best Halo game. Followed by Halo 5 somehow being dead ass last. That makes absolutely no freaking sense whatsoever. It just doesn't because they're exactly the same fucking gameplay. So if you're a Halo Infinite fan, surely Halo 5 is top tier. But he's never played Halo 5. He played Halo 5 for like 5 seconds when he made that video about me. That's it. He hasn't played the game, hasn't completed the game. Okay, I know this for a fact. Okay, same way he hasn't played any of these games either. I know this for a fact. Okay, the MCC does not count. I'm going to say that again. The MCC does not fucking count. Okay, Reach is not the, the correct fucking gameplay on, on the MCC. Okay, Halo 1 is not the correct gameplay on the MCC with regards to multiplayer. The campaign's not so bad, but again, it's still not the original games. Okay, and you can claim all kinds of nonsense and bullshit, but the fact is he's playing these games with a keyboard and mouse. Again, the games were not built to run with keyboard and mouse. The original games didn't have keyboard and mouse. So again, you're not playing the games as originally intended. Okay, you're not playing the originals, so we're not even going to discuss that like you actually played these games. You haven't. You have not played these original games. That's a fact. The MCC simply does not count as the original games. Case in point. Okay? Right. So, but even if you include the MCC, which we don't, I don't, but even if you do, he hasn't played that either. We can see that for a fact, okay? He hasn't completed any of these games, okay? Maybe he's loaded them up, but I can load up any fucking game. I can load up fucking Fortnite right now, and there it is. It's, it's on my gamer card. Look, I play, I play Fortnite. It, it, that's all he's doing there, okay? So you can load a game. I'm talking about what has he actually played, okay? What has he actually completed? What achievements has he gotten? What missions has he done? With achievements, you'll be able to see what fucking stuff he's actually done. That's why he hides his achievement card, because he hasn't fucking done anything. Not rocket science here, okay? And we can prove this easily because he's making up fake numbers, okay? You don't need to make up fake numbers if you legitimately play the games. You just say, hey, look, here's my achievement card with all the games on. Look, it's all completed. Here it is, Halo 5 completed, Halo 2 completed. You can see that through the MCC, through Halo 5, in, in, in Halo Infinite, okay? We can see the achievements, but obviously he hides his achievement cards. Okay, so we have proof there that he doesn't play these games, right? Yeah, of course, like LNG several years ago, we've got all these little minions who have to somehow claim that he plays these games, even though we've got evidence... And proof that he doesn't, right? So we're all back to front and inside out because this is Twitter. So we're going to have to scroll down here instead of up. Because that makes total fucking sense. Because everything's out of fucking inside out backwards bullshit. Okay. So that was the original shit, right? That's what started all this shit off, right? Okay, this is like some other shit. We're not even getting into that today. You can read this at your leisure. This is one. This is one I want to discuss. So, first of all, we've got a guy here saying that this is what we should be having in Halo Infinite. This is what's going to save Halo. Spartan French maid outfits, okay? And dildos. This is the guy, okay? And then he'll come out with shit like, oh, Halo's never been serious. It's like, are you fucking serious, dude? Made outfits and dildos. This is what you want in Halo. This is what's going to draw players in. Are you are you absolutely insane? How is that going to save Halo? It's going to be uh, successful to the minority of idiots like Mischief, okay, who buy that garbage. It's not going to be successful for the game because as you release more and more shit that drives away the core player base... There's nobody left playing the fucking game, okay? Like the cat ears, like the bunny ears. Now he wants dildos and fucking Spartan maids. Okay? 
catering to these idiots is not going to save the game, okay? Like, it's not going to save the game. But this guy is so delusional, he believes that it will. For some reason, he is a dildo-loving goofball who likes dildos off his ass, so he thinks everybody else is that way, apparently. The majority of people apparently like big fucking purple dildos and fucking maid skins, okay? Apparently. Even though, again, evidence would suggest that is not the case, but, again... According to him, it is. That's going to save Halo. <sighs> the insanity. Okay, and like I say, diehards of people that are playing the game. Even though the game is not Halo anymore, it's a piece of, piece of shit. Okay, diehards are the ones playing the game. That's a fact. Okay, like, wh where are these fucking new players? Okay, and then, so then, he's got to then post and try to prove... As he is a new player, even though apparently he played all those games back in the day, which contradicts his statement anyway. I'm saying diehards, okay? Well, apparently he is a diehard because he's played all those games, but apparently he's not a diehard. So it's all bullshit, okay? And then we got D. Marcus Baus there, who wanted to fuck Overwatch characters, who subscribes to Mischief, which is fantastic, okay? So that, that real that's his audience there. Um... Anyone can leave the game on the menu. Where's your Halo tracker? For Tango, the same. For Tango, the same shit. Okay, so he's trying to claim, Miss Chief, is that he's played Halo Infinite for two hundred and thirty point eight hours. This is a total fabrication. Okay, he left the game on for two hundred and thirty point eight hours. He didn't play the game. Anybody can leave the game on the front screen. So here we go. Here we go. Okay. So again, of course, it's Twitter, so everything is asked backwards and inside out and then the wrong fucking way around, okay? So where's the fucking tweet where I say how many fucking hours, okay? Hey, can you just put it in order, Twitter, please? Thank you. Halo Tracker has you at 84 hours, which doesn't include campaign because it's not a campaign follower. It only follows multiplayer. All right? Myself is at 70 hours, and I only touch the fucking game, right? So, Miss Chief has played this game less than my brother, who also doesn't play this fucking game. Okay, and we're going to look this up right now. Okay, so let's get on to fucking Halo Tracker. Okay, so he's claiming 230 and he's played 84. Right? Uh, and another his excuse for hiding his account details is that he's going to be doxxed. Apparently, you can get doxxed by showing your achievement progress. No. You can't get doxxed by showing your achievement progress. You can get doxxed by showing your personal account details, like your name and shit, on Xbox. So you can hide that without hiding your achievement progress. So that's a complete lie. Again, again, lying, okay? This is what this guy does time and time again. Lies through his fucking teeth, right? Okay, this is all he's got, right? So we got Shug here, right? Okay, this is what, and you're going to put overall, this is what a fucking guy who plays the game's account would look like, okay? Somebody who plays it, like, every day or whatever, right? 521 hours played, right? 3,200 matches. That is the kind of thing we're looking for as somebody who actually plays the game. So that's the population right there. This guy plays the game either every day or every other day, okay? Does shug, right? So that's the kind of thing. And he is a Halo diehard, as people will know, if they know who he is, right? He's a Halo fucking diehard, right? So he plays the game all the fucking time, right? And I'm saying that the population is Halo fucking diehards, right? So there's evidence that Halo fucking diehards, right there, are fucking playing the game far more than people who are not Halo diehards, right? And again, I've said multiple times, I think this game's a pile of shit, and I've played this game almost as much as Miss Chief. More so if you include the campaign. So, again, what is he trying to, why is he trying to prove that, oh, he played this game so much when he hasn't played it at all? It's nuts, man. So, how do we search on here now? Okay, we need search profile. God damn it. There it is. 
So, right, so there you go, 84 hours now and 645 matches, which is shit. That's pathetic, okay? Now, I'm, I'm not here claiming that I play this game. I'm not here claiming that, uh, you know, this is a good game, okay? This guy is, okay? He's claiming that this is an amazing game, plays it all the fucking time. It's his most played game on Steam. And yet, the truth is, he's played 84 fucking hours multiplayer, right? That's piss poor, man. That's not, like, it's a lie. You've not played 230 hours of the game. You've played 84 fucking hours. You won't have completed the campaign because all your fucking achievements are hidden. So we can we could prove that, but obviously you got it hidden. Because it's fucking obviously you haven't completed it. You haven't completed Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo fucking Reach, Halo 5, Spartan Assault, fucking Spartan Strike, none of that shit. Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2. Right? ODST, you've not done any of this stuff, right? You've not played these original games, okay? And then it, if you have played them on MCC, you won't have completed them. Yet you'll happily make a fucking list of games in, in, in the order that they're fucking good when you haven't even played the fucking games? Ah, just fucking... Whatever. So we can prove you don't play fucking Halo. You don't fucking play it. Regardless of whether you think it's amazing or not, you don't fucking play it. So what fucking madness is it to fucking put shit out like you do fucking play it when you don't? For Tanga, there's the same thing. Okay, now, I will say that Mischief actually did play the fucking game, okay, when the fucking update came out. See? He does play it, but he plays it casually. He's not part of the core population because he's pl barely played the fucking game, all right? This is totally live and up to date right now. This isn't fucking some bullshit with smoke and mirrors. This is today's data. This fucking data here. It's today's, okay? That is 84 hours playtime. That's what he's got. And he's here trying to claim that, oh, and I've got 70 hours. Okay? So what's the fucking logic here? He's played the game not much more than I have. And I'm telling you now, I barely played the fucking game, so he barely plays the fucking game, right? And that's a fact, right? But the, the mental gymnastics, 230 fucking hours, apparently. Utter bullshit lies, once again. So what's the point here? Like, what is the agenda he's trying to push here? And then all these fucking little minions start fucking jumping in and trying to claim, like, oh, well... Um, this, that, and the other, and none of it makes any fucking sense, okay? The guy doesn't fucking play. I'm stalking him, apparently, because I'm calling him out on his bullshit on a public forum, which is Twitter, okay? That's not stalking anybody. That's calling out someone's bullshit on Twitter. That's what I'm doing there, okay? So you, you see that. It's all bullshit, man. You've not played 230 hours. You haven't played these games. You're not willing to share your gamer card because you haven't played them, okay? And even if, even if, supposedly if you've played them, right? Okay? Like, if we go to the fucking... Right? So, and then you try to double down and say that it is fucking public, you met your game of card, when it isn't. It isn't fucking public. It's a lie. That's your game tag, but we can't see the fucking info on it. 7,128 fucking gamer score? And you're telling me you've completed the Halo games? I don't fucking think so. Oh, but he's done this, that, and the other on Steam. Again, MCC doesn't fucking count. And even if MCC did fucking count, all right, even though the achievements go back and forth on Steam and fucking uh, Xbox for MCC anyway, so that should be his MCC gamer score as well, if the accounts are linked, right? It's definitely linked with Halo Infinite because it's automatic. So... W w he has 7,128 gamer score. That's not enough to have played all these fucking games. Not even close. Okay? And we already know he hasn't got a 360. He never played the 360. So how is he supposed to have played? Is he played these games through backwards compatibility, maybe? He's never owned these fucking games. Point, in, point of fact. And he, he refuses to play fucking FPS games of anything other than a fucking keyboard. Unless he's playing Halo fucking 5. So, what's the logic here? What is the logic? 
You've not played these games, yet you make lists about which one is better. You've never played them. It's mental. But I'm mental for pointing that out, apparently. And he's saying, like, oh, 343 is somehow going to move from, like, one engine to another. They're going to put it on, like, Unreal Engine 5 or something. It's like, this is, like, drunken, insane nonsense. It's possible, because 343 are that retarded. But it's never going to actually come about, okay? It's never going to happen. Apparently, Halo isn't dead because of these numbers. These numbers, like... Titanfall 2 is long dead, but apparently that that is dead, man. That is dead. <laughs> but apparently it's not dead. So apparently games with like shit population and whatever are not dead. It's, it's mental, man. Then you got these fucking idiot fans doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down. Get the fake Halo fans who don't play the games. That's a fact. And you got idiots going on and 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 on. Alright? Because I proved that. I've proved that he doesn't play the games. Okay? There you go. Oh look, he showed the days of playtime. Did he really, Mr. Fucking Beard, with your fucking flags? Okay, Spartan Dusk. Okay? Did he really? Show me his playtime, did he? Well if he showed me his playtime, how come I proved that it was eighty four hours, not two hundred and thirty? I proved that. That's a fact. So what what are we doing here? Okay, why keep doubling down and tripling down on this? Okay, it makes no sense. If Twitter wasn't such a jumbled mess, then we could fucking go through some more. But I'm just going through the basics. Again, posters related to Halo games, the originals only being on 360. That's a fact, man. The originals are only on 360. Yeah, there's some ports to PC. But again, he hasn't played those either. <laughs> he hasn't played them. Not difficult to understand. MCC is not the original games. Not difficult. So, what is the point here? How, I don't understand how you get to the stage where you've got to double down, triple down on the fact that you play a game when you have been proving you don't. You can't have played these games because of your age. Okay, first of all, you weren't born until like Halo 3 was like coming out. So you were like one years old when Halo 3 came out. Okay, so that puts you at like three, two or three years old when Halo Wars 2 comes out. ODST comes out in your three. Reach comes out in your four. Okay, nothing in 2011, so... <sighs> Six years old when Halo 4 comes out. Okay, seven years old when the Xbox One releases. Eight years old when MCC comes out. Nine years old when Halo 5 comes out. And then 15 years old, or 14 years old, when, when Halo fucking Infinite comes out. That's the fucking list of truth right there. Okay, that's the fact. So how have you played all these fucking games? Why have you got opinions acting like you're fucking 35 when your opinions are of a fucking 17-year-old that hasn't played any of these fucking games? But it makes no fucking sense, man. You've not played the original games, and then even with MCC, you haven't played fucking those. And you haven't played Infinite. And for Tanga, is the same fucking way. He doesn't play the games either. These fuckers don't even play video games. They're frauds. Okay, just a quick video there. Feel free to subscribe, guys. I'll see you later.